Try to the running man. Push his leg. There we go. Get your other foot. Kick. Hello and welcome back to another episode. The good thing about this one is Tom and Calvin are rolling together and they always roll together. So they're always flowing, getting caught in different positions. So a lot of back and forth in this one. I'll try not to ramble on too much, but uh, let's get stuck into it. Let's break it down. Panic boom. All right, cool. So here we are. So jumping straight into it. So we have Calvin on the top and Tom on the bottom. So just a little bit of hand fighting in this position. Tom looks like he's going for a reverse De La Hiva. Calvin drops to half guard. Okay, it looks like Tom's working for maybe a three point sweep right there. Okay, dropping down. Calvin's going into maybe more pressure passes. We can see that uh, Tom has his forearm across his neck and also he had the knee shield in that position. All right, Tom's doing the right thing. We're squaring up just so Calvin can't get an angle. All right, so right there, you notice that Calvin went to step in between Tom's legs, but he's actually shin to shin in this position and he's hooking around Calvin's calf. This is really good for elevating your partner going for um, your X guard or single X guard, getting right underneath your partner's center of gravity. So I'll see what happens here. Okay, so you could see that Calvin uh, stepped backwards and then he stepped back inside between Tom's legs. So this allows him to do a back step like he just did there. And you can already see that he's already focusing on uh, controlling the opposite leg that's not locked in between his legs. So Tom's caught in the saddle in this position. So he's, he's doing the right thing with not trying to expose his heel. It looks like Calvin's going for a heel hook in this position. And you can see that he's putting pressure towards Calvin so it's quite hard to expose that heel. All right, so there we go. Brought him back down to a seated position. All right, so you'll see that Tom's right leg is more than likely uh, the one that won't be attacked, but it's got two purposes in this instance. So uh, by Calvin holding onto it, it's a really good handle. This will lock Tom into this position where wherever he moves, Calvin's gonna follow him, but it's a handle, but it's also a barrier. So let's look for Calvin to try and move that leg out of the way. So Tom's gonna to be very wary in this position. So you can see Calvin holding onto that, that right leg of Tom. Bit of hand fighting. Okay, so he's very close to catching the heel. Okay, right there. So you can see that the leg that's locked, so Tom's left leg in this case, he's turning his heel towards Calvin. So very hard to expose a heel in this instance. And Calvin's doing the right thing by trying to hold onto the far leg to keep this this lock and there we go trying to bring his knee out so uh, it, Tom's got his his knee free very close to a calf crush in this instance but it's not a high percentage move and there we go he's completely out and there we go now Tom's on top so a similar position to before so a very good escape in that instance okay Calvin with the underhook a bit of hand fighting in this position I think he's got his knee in the way Okay, so right there, you could see it was quite easy for Tom to do a back step in, in that, uh, that case because Calvin's knees were pointing in the same direction, so it's very hard when your knees and your feet are pointing away from your partner to actually keep a good guard or keep a guard. Okay, but you can see straight away Calvin's locking Tom's arm in between his legs and he's pushing on the hip and there we go. He used that to try and re-guard. Tom's doing the right thing at trying to keep that perpendicular position. Whoop. Okay, so the leg that just came over his neck, he's got a couple of different options here. He can focus on maybe going into, say, a triangle or a reverse triangle. All right, so the leg that went over, you saw Tom try to do a little back step, but he wasn't able to. Uh, Calvin's got a good handle of Tom's lower body now with his left butterfly hook. Well, not butterfly hook, but he's actually got a hook. So that allowed him to circle all the way around and he's more than likely working for his seatbelt in this instant so he can keep his chest nice and close to Tom's back. And look at him, uh, he'll more than likely try and get that hook in. Okay, so Tom's got two things to worry about in this instant. So obviously getting choked, you can already see the arm is around his neck and focusing on avoiding that hook. But yeah, he's got a lot of things to worry about. So he's moving around, he'll look at trying to get rid of the hooks and also get his chair, uh, get his back off Calvin's chest. 
So he's doing a good job. Oh, and you can see Calvin already locking and trying to isolate that left arm to take away one tool so it's even harder for Tom to defend. And now he's really trying to go for the choke. So right there you can see uh, Tom's moving his back off Calvin's chest. But he's sunk that hook in and there we go, caught in a very tight rear naked choke. All right, and resetting and starting again. So similar position to before, Tom's in a seated guard. Okay, so right there he was able to keep that position without Calvin um, of getting his leg out of that position. So he's shin to shin and he was able to elevate him over. And there we go, that's a sweep for Tom. Okay, looks like he's setting up a guillotine and it looks like he's got his hands together. Excellent, so you saw how he'd left a half guard and then went to a full guard. So now he's able to really lock Tom's hips. Okay, so there's a couple of different ways you can get a guillotine, but you always got to focus on controlling your partner's hips, whether that's in full guard, like in, in this instance, or maybe a mount, or pushing them up against a wall, or lifting them up off their toes, okay? But you would not have much success whatsoever if uh, you're in half guard. So there we go, it looks on, like it's very much almost on. And there we go, right there you could see that Tom was trying to relieve the pressure by moving his hips away. So very nice escape. He's still in danger, and there we go, Calvin's uh, let it go. So very nice escape for Tom, trying to relieve the pressure from that full guard. Now just a little bit of uh, hand fighting, Tom's in turtle, he's trying to avoid the hooks, maybe more than likely re-guard. You can see Calvin controlling the wrists here and looking for the hooks, but Tom's knees are nice and close to his body, uh, to his chest. And there we go. So very nice. He yeah, did a forward roll, re-guard. Looks like he's trying to shoot up a triangle in this instance. Okay, and right there you can see that Calvin actually stapled his knee over the top. So he's almost in a half guard in this instance. And he's trying to lock Tom and avoid him from staying on his side. So he's able to hip escape, but now trying to put him on his back so it makes it a lot harder and slid his knee through. Okay, so he's got an underhook in this instance. Okay, Tom's trying to avoid the cross face. And you can see that he's bringing his knee up to avoid Calvin going into a mount position. And throwing his legs up to create a little bit of space, maybe shoot up an armbar, but excellent. He just did that to re-guard. Okay, so straight away you can see that as he re-guarded, his legs were vulnerable and Calvin actually locked over the top and he's locking that far leg. It looks like he's going for like a knee knot, but he's out of danger now. So Tom's in a very good position. Although he has switched off to the opposite leg in this case. So he's kind of caught in almost like kind of like a De La Hiva calf crush in this instance. And you can see that Calvin's, there we go. He's throwing that leg over the top. Okay, so he's trying to work into uh, say uh, a knee knot in this instance, or they call it the game over as well. So very tight leg entanglement, and he's got to control, um, he's got to get a good base, so you can already see that he's basing out obviously on his knees, Calvin in this instance, and also basing on his head. So he can work on controlling and getting his hands together and really working on that straight foot lock. So look at him, more than likely he's going to drop his hips down, so he's in a good position right here, and you can see that Tom's trying to relieve the pressure with his right butterfly hook in this instance, but he's very tangled up. So I'll just play it through, let's see what happens. So Calvin's sprawling out, and there we go. Okay, cool. So you could see that his legs were locking over. He was forced to tap in this position because he isolated the leg, arching in the center, and a very tight straight foot lock. Working on the Achilles. All right, so here we are, heading straight into round three. Okay, so same as before, so seated position right there. So you can see that uh, Tom's, the instep of his foot is attached to Calvin's shin or his instep. So let's see if he focuses on a similar sweep to what he did before. So you can see him elevating in there, getting underneath his center of gravity. Right there and rolling over, very nice. Okay, it looks like he's, He's got a, um, a single X position, and it looks like he's trying to expose the heel or maybe go for a straight foot lock. So you can see Calvin wary of that, 
He's trying to hand fight, he's trying to pull his body in. And you can see right there, he's really focusing on exposing that heel. There we go, so you saw him trying to hook around. And Calvin's pulling uh, his body in towards him to relieve a little bit of pressure and triangling his leg. So he's doing the right thing at hiding his heel. Okay, so let's play it through a little. So uh, look for Tom to, yeah, it looks like he's very close to getting the heel in this instance. He's got his hands together. He's brought his leg to the outside, but Calvin's really um, trying to kick and hide his heel. So he's trying to turn his heel towards Tom's ribs. And also you can see that he's trying to relieve a little bit of pressure by literally kicking his foot through and also his left hand in that instance. Okay, so really relieving the pressure, making it hard for Tom to arch. And it looks like he's lost the heel. Okay, so yeah, he's got two hands on one, so really trying to pull in as much as you can and kick his left foot in and hide his heel. Okay, and he was able to use that to get up on top and very nice work. So let's just go over that again. Look what Tom did in that instance. So it looked like Calvin was working his way up on top and Tom did a shoulder roll and he rolled all the way through to get up on top. Very nice. And his legs are triangled. So he was unable to get the heel, so he used that for a sweep. So very nice. So at the moment now, he's, he's not in the saddle, he's in like a back step half guard. So very nice work from Tom and nice defense from Calvin there. Okay, looks like we're, we're about to run out of time here. Calvin's going for Americana grip and just went for the Hail Mary right there. So that's it, that's uh, the end of the roll. All right, so let's just go into two different ways of how to expose that heel when you're trying to work for that outside heel hook. Okay, so two good ways to expose the heel. So in this position here, he's turning his heel towards me, so not the easiest thing, easier said than done. He's obviously gonna be hand fighting and so forth to make it a little bit harder, but just to expose the heel. So here, what I can do, I've got my elbow by my side, I'm gonna lift my hips up and I'm gonna base on my head and then from there, I can work on getting my grip and going into my heel hook. Okay, another way as well is he's turning his heel towards me. What I'm going to do with this arm, I'm down here and I'm literally bringing it behind my back like I'm comoring myself. Now from here, I can scoot the heel, lift my hips up, and then I can get the grip, and then I can start to do what I want with my legs, whether I'm bringing them over or I'm leaving them in that position as well. Okay, cool, so we're coming very close to the end of the video, so thank you very much for actually making it this far. Um, I just wanna ask one thing just before we go. So what was the main reason you initially started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu? For myself, I started Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, well, I was already training martial arts for maybe about six or seven years, and I used to get my parents to hire out the early UFCs on VCR, because I was not old enough to hire them out myself. And as a lot of people will probably say as well, through watching the success of Hoist Gracie in the early days, that was more than enough for me to actually just commit as much time and energy into Brazilian Jiu Jitsu as I possibly could. So that was my reason. Please let me know yours, comment below. And as always, thank you very much for watching this video. Please like, comment, subscribe. I hope it's been helpful. Share it with friends. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much. Until next time. Hadouken! Anik, boom!